Well, I, I did trucking the first time I got out of the service against my dad's better wishes because he was a truck driver. But he told me once it gets in your blood, it never leaves. I said, no, nah, Pop, I can handle it. I mean, I had no idea what went on with the pre-trip until we did it today. And I learned so much today, and now I can talk through a pre-trip with the driver. I'm glad we have it. Good God Almighty. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're having fun now. It'll get worse than that. How you doing, hey, Bill? Good to hey, see you. I'm going to see you. <laughs> How's life treating you? Just fine, just fine. Good, you ready good. to do this? I'm ready. Huh? I'm you got to take care of me now, right? Of course. Okay. You remember when you were first driving or when you first started, I was a driver manager, we didn't have cell phones. We had to find a pay phone. I remember at one point handing out quarters to certain drivers because they kept telling us they had no money. Yeah. And and so we called, you called twice a day, first thing in the morning and the afternoon. And then if you didn't have a load, then you'd say, call me back in an hour, call me back in an hour, call me back in an hour. And, and so I remember those experiences. Our guys today, Hey, it's no big deal. It's a cell phone. Well, you can't use your cell phone while you're driving. You in, in, in this business, if you run the 48, <laughs> you get to see a lot of country most people only dream about. As we always say, that's trucking, so we just have to figure it out. Well, I look at it this way. Night keeps good equipment. And nice enough that I get a new truck about every three years. I live in this truck. So I don't live like a pig at home. I'm not going to live like a pig in my truck. It's my home away from home. But that's the reason I am the way I am about my truck. I feel it's my truck. Nobody else. I don't like nobody else to drive it or touch it. We're driving with a gentleman named Larry Kemp. Um, Larry and I have been friends for, uh, for quite some time, um, probably about 25 years now. Uh, I had the privilege of uh, dispatching Larry back when he first uh, started with the company and started with, uh, with night transportation and Fayard Fastway Systems. And uh, so I've known Larry for a long time, excited to spend a day with him and really see what it's like for him out on the road. My grandson, he rode with me for seven years in the summer. He worked, he can do stuff that drivers should be doing, change lights, read air gauge, read map, he can dolly up, dolly down, he can do strap load. And he's learned a lot from that. Whereas if he just sat at home, he'd never experience it. There's only about a handful of states that boy ain't been to. Yeah, he, well, he and I have always been close ever since he was old enough to, to realize anything. We've got a bond that sometimes I wish it wasn't that strong because 10, 10 years ago I had stage four cancer, colorectal cancer. And uh, it was pretty rough, but he was, he was by my side during treatments and everything because we watched him when his mama worked. She'd bring him over and we'd watch him. And uh, buddy, he was a tattletale. He'd tell grandma, grandma, grandpa's trying to lift something more than five pounds. But he watched over me good. And he'd go with me to the, to the uh, treatment facility. He couldn't go in when I was taking treatment, but he'd go there and the nurses put him in the state, their little station and color and talk to him. They loved it. They still ask about him to this day. Cause I go every year for a follow up, make sure I'm clean. We're head dead. Greenville, Texas, just outside of Dallas. Get the load delivered and learn a little bit more about trucking. Now I have to put Bill through the motions of a driver. We're showing him how to do the pre-trip, the importance of the pre-trip, checking our air pressure, putting grease on fifth wheels, and uh, general overall appearance of the vehicle. Because the pre-trip is the most important part of your day. Without a proper pre-trip, you cause yourself problems on the road because you're going to have a breakdown. If you don't take care of your equipment, it's not going to take care of you. See, I didn't go to no truck driving school. When I got out of Marine Corps, I wanted to be a professional wrestler. That's when they wrestled. They, they wasn't all buffed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Barroom brawl is what it really was. <laughs> and that's what I wanted to do. And my dad said, uh, You wanted to be a wrestler? <laughs> yeah, I did. And uh, I was full of piss and vinegar then. What would your name been? I don't know. <laughs> but uh, he said, you don't want to do that. I said, why? He said, two reasons. You don't know your own strength and your temper. I said, okay. That makes sense. And uh, I said, well, I'll drive a truck like you. Uh, you don't want to do that. 
I said, why? He said, I'm going to tell you, son. He said, once it gets in your blood, it never leaves. I said, no, nah, Pop, I can handle it. So I drove a truck for four years and I went back in the military. Uh -huh. Retired, did commercial roofing for a couple of years and said, no, nah, this ain't for me. I'd be up on a, on a shopping center roof or something and watch them trucks go by. I told, I told Marty, I said, look, I'm going back on the road. She said, sounds good, but there's one condition. I said, what? You find a company where I can ride with you. I said, okay. You know, our role in the office and our role um, as driver managers and service center managers in my role is you got to build a relationship, Absolutely. you know, and that's it's just like me and you. We've been friends forever because we built that relationship at the very beginning. But I think that in some businesses, I think we've done a good job meeting that transportation of overcoming it is that, you know, we haven't given as much um, attention. I don't know if attention is the right word or credibility to the job that you guys do. And, and, you know, I don't see us as, I don't see us as you're a driver and, and I'm a service center manager. Right. And I never saw myself that way. I see us as equal working together. Now, there are certain days when I have to make the decision, but at the end, but for the most part, we're equal. So, oh, I agree. you know, it, it, and again, I, you do have to keep it professional. And, yeah. and that's the key is that, you know, is that, hey, I'm, I'm not going to show you any special treatment. We are friends, but you still got to do the job. If you're not doing your pre-trips, then I, you and I are going to have a conversation. Exactly. And, and that's the way it ought to be. You know what I didn't realize is how much the trailer impacts the truck. You oh, can yeah. feel the trailer pulling the truck, sort of. Yeah, well, see, this load here, I'm going to tell you right now, if I was to open the doors, they could have spread this load out a little bit. Most of the heavy stuff's in the nose. What is it? Masonite, I, I don't know if it's oh. flooring or siding or what. Okay. But uh, some, of these, some of these shippers don't know how to load a trailer. That load I picked up in, in, the, in the cave, uh -huh. all the heavy stuff was on the back end. And, uh, really? Now some of them load it and the weight's it's pretty much evenly distributed. Yeah. This is the rough part. So hang on to your girdle back there. All the heavy stuff's in the nose of this. It's not spread out. If they just spread it out, we wouldn't have had to move the tandems all the way up. Well, would, do you, would you still feel that as much, that, that pull on the on the truck kind of, that I'm feeling? Yeah, but the way this road is, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I see what you because mean. Because it, it's, it's Yeah, light. yeah, exactly. I never realized that. Now you know why we moved. You know why we moved them forward. Why we moved them forward? Yeah. Why we slid the tandems forward was to to distribute that weight to the back of the far the, uh, yeah, equally so, through the back. Yeah. And when you move them forward, it puts more weight on the back. I got you. Move back, it puts more. On the back. Okay. Okay. You always want a little more on your drives than you do your tandem. Gives it better traction, better ride. Okay. Is there really a big difference when you bobtail and you don't have a trailer on it? Is it really? Is it rougher? Oh, yes. Especially on stuff like this. Yeah. And some of the highways. So that's, a, a, in a lot of cases, why sometimes when we tell a driver to bobtail someplace, they're not really a big fan of it because it's rough. Yeah, well, it depends on where you're at. Yeah. If you're on roads like this or coming down, 69 or 75 in Oklahoma. Really? You have to wear your seat. That's Is that for sure. Really? You about your ass out of the seat. <laughs> well, Bill, I'm going to tell you. What's that, sir? You know, you talked about, there you go with that sir stuff again. <laughs> but, uh, you talked this morning about the DMs and the, and the terminal so, manager. Yeah, service center manager. Yeah. That's good, but I wish you'd do one more thing. Okay. Let the dispatcher ride on a short trip like you are now. Yeah. So they can get a better understanding. Not all at one time, you know, one one day or a couple of days and then right. space it out. They, I think they would get a better picture too that it's not just so easy to get to a ship or a receiver, get loaded or unloaded. And, and start rolling again. I'm still impressed at how long you've been married. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. 
She must be a saint. She good Put one. up with you for that long. You're right about that. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I'm, I'm, we'll be 35 years. Well, that, that's a mile, that's a milestone yep. in itself because, you know, people don't, young people, a lot of them don't realize when you put two people together and, and, and become a, a married couple, you're going to have differences. You got to work, compromise, sit down and talk about it. Yeah. Don't, it's, good <laughs> God of mine. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. Imagine if we was going fast. Yeah, no. I don't know. It might be, be out, fun. Be out in the cow pasture. <laughs> yeah. But, uh. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, It's yeah. too easy now for them to say, well, I want a divorce. Yeah. And that, you, you, I don't know. It's a different mindset from our time and now. Yep. So that's what you do when you stop. You stop, check your messages. Mm -hmm. Go to off duty. Go to off duty. Let's eat. I'm hungry. I sound like TJ. Yeah. That was pretty amazing the way you backed that in there. I, it's just, <laughs> I just can't imagine doing something like that. But anyway, that's that's pretty tough having to do that, isn't it? Sometimes it can be hairy. Yeah. The, the, the main thing is you want to get close enough to the vehicle on your left. Yeah. Line up so you can see that right hand mirror and then go ahead and back up. Man, it's amazing all these trucks. I mean, you just don't realize how much these trucks move every day throughout the entire you know, the country. This is just a small little glimpse sitting right here. It's pretty cool. Okay, so we're done. We've successfully driven from Gulfport, Mississippi to Dallas, Texas. We're at our terminal. It's uh, 1215. 12, no, I'm no, sorry, 1235. 1235. And um, so we're down for the night. We're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna go to the hotel. I'm gonna stay in the truck. And um, you're going to be back in the morning after your 10 hour break and we'll roll then. Right? Going to Greenville, Texas. We're going to deliver our load, dropping a hook, right? It's Masonite. Once we get it delivered, then we'll hopefully we'll have another load ready for you. If we've got the time, we'll go hook to that. If not, then we'll we'll make arrangements to come back this way. It's fine with me. And I'm buying lunch. Fine with me. <laughs> 525 miles. That's how far we, we go. Go to here. Okay. So. And we stopped one time. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I think that's a world record for me. Good morning. Hey, <laughs> how are you? How did you sleep? Uh, I didn't sleep much, actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was just kind of, the bed was comfortable. It was amazing, and there was room in there, and the weather was gorgeous. I mean, nice and cool, didn't have to idle the truck, but just the different noises right. that you're not used to mm -hmm. is every time a truck would come hook up or a truck would come through, you know, he'd wake you up, so you didn't actually get a lot of sleep. How about you? How'd you sleep? Well, once I finally got a room, I, I slept good. <laughs> Till the alarm went off. Uh-huh. All right, we'll jump up and start our right. trip. Yep. You gonna, you gonna be the ones going through the motion? Yep. Okay. We gotta get our air gauge. You gotta get my yeah, gloves. I'll, I'll get the air gauge. Okay. Anyway. Got it. Let's do it. No, you do the inside cab. Okay. This is the. This is the. Uh, you can do it any way you want. I'll always do it all the inside first. Yeah. Keep Here, the I'll routine. Give you, I'll give you the tab. Okay. You remember how it works, right? Yes, sir. All right. We can start on the right side today. Okay. It, you were right about one thing. It sure does make it dark in here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I didn't have to worry about that. I was laying there for a little while. Like I said, set my rosary and then just kind of laying there. And I pulled these around except for right there. I left that open. And, um, but once I laid my head back, it was dark as could be. It was nice. It really was. I mean, I, I certainly couldn't complain about the accommodations. Well, I'm glad. <laughs> Doesn't he have to take that lock off? Yeah, I have to pull forward after he gets over. Okay, nice. And I'll tell you another good thing about tonight. 
What's that? that? A lot of companies don't do it. Sometimes you're sitting around a terminal, you're not doing anything because you, your truck's getting serviced. You're sitting there twiddling your thumbs or yeah. watching TV. If the, you know, if a driver manager needs a truck taken somewhere or picked up or this little run local down here to get a trailer, mm -hmm. then uh, they'll come out and ask if anybody, you know, wants to make a few extra dollars. Yeah. And, uh, hey, you ain't doing nothing, why not? But they pay you. Yeah. Now, some places don't do that. Some places say, well, we need you to take this over there. But night pays you for everything you do. What do you hear from our drivers? Do, or is there, is there some stuff we need to do differently? Or is it just a matter of treating our shop managers with a little respect? Well, that respect goes a long way. It does. There's no question about that. An attitude. Yep. I hear a lot of good things uh -huh. from drivers from different terminals. Our terminal, and I'm not boasting uh, building Gulfport up, right? But they boast about the quality of service and, and the lack of uh, no answer. Gotcha. So, but for the most part, things are getting better. I think all the way around in the shops. Yeah. Yeah, I think Steve Collins has done a good job. Really good job. We're out in the woods, aren't we? Yeah, I think. That's it, County Road 1033. It's gonna be a sharp right turn. Holy cow, that's not gonna work, uh, is it? Uh, <laughs> no, that's not gonna work. If it's 25 minutes to one now, there's no way we're going to get back by two, is it? No, not by two. Well, I don't know how much we haul over here. Probably not a lot. Yeah. I remember this place because they live unloaded here right there in that door. Did they? There's a bunch of trailers sitting back there. I think it went well. I talked about old times. And talked about things that's going to come. I think it went great. Working, made him sweat. Aches in places he never ate before. <laughs> Bill, I enjoyed it, man. Thank you very much. I ain't gonna lie to you, I enjoyed every bit of it. I can't imagine doing you know, it with anybody else. It was a great time. We had a great time, I, I learned it. some things. And I know you learned some things. I learned a lot. And, and uh, I appreciate you being honest and candid and professional. And It's the only way know. we get anything accomplished. All right. I think we accomplished a lot. I do too. You'd be safe. And I out enjoyed there. it. Give I'll... me a hug, man. <laughs> All right. Man. <laughs> Thanks again, man. Right, thank really you. did enjoy it. Yep. I think that's my bride. I'm sure it is. Hello. Hey, beautiful. What you doing? No, I didn't even check my phone. We've been busy. I've been working Bill up to death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah I mean, he, he broke sweat. Yeah. I tell you. <laughs> I'm ready for a nap. <laughs> well, I let him do pre trip, put air in the tires, and, <laughs> and uh, fuel the truck. No, we, we're going up 49 because uh, I'm on. I'm on uh, hey, we, we ain't on the mic, are we? Yeah. We are? Yeah. Oh, well, great. <laughs> anyway, I got a microphone hooked up to me. We got cameras all in the truck. Look like a police vehicle with all these cameras. No, it's a reality show. Yeah, it's a reality <laughs> show. <laughs> but, uh, you want to see it? Well, I'll have to tell Bill to send me a copy. Oh, yo, it's going to be on YouTube. Oh, tell Lord. Vaughn, he'll know how to get it on. Yeah, tell Vaughn, it'll be on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. He'll get a kick out of it. He'll probably say, hey, there's Bill. Hey, <laughs> Grandpa. It's the Larry and Bill show. <laughs> yeah, Bill said it's the Larry and Bill show. <laughs> she wants to know if we're going to make any more money for being movie stars. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I'll offer to buy you a hot dog. <laughs> All right, you be careful, baby. I'll talk to you after a while. Love you. Bye-bye.